Hello, hello again everyone. I hope this video finds you well, finds you well. Exciting day today, exciting day today. We're starting a new series. A new series of videos, tutorials if you like, and these are for the absolute, absolute beginners. And we're going to work our way up to um, hopefully intermediates, maybe get a bit higher all right but we're going to be using a new board we're going to be using a new board all right and this board is the esp 32 w rover now i was quite lucky that um i got a amazon voucher and purchased the complete kit the reason i purchased the complete kit because it's got this extension it's got the camera all right and it's got the esp 32 w rover dash e okay and it's got um other components um you've seen before You've seen before all right but if you've got all the components and you're happy to to work with what you got you can get the esp32 for as little as 11.99 11.99 10.99 you can get three for 22.99 um it might be worth you getting uh, the three because we are going to be doing interconnectivity. I'm going to be purchasing some more. And I'm also going to be purchasing um, a color LCD as well. Okay, when I get my pension. What I did purchase though, because I had enough uh, money, I bought some of these. Some of these. They're bigger. They're 20 by 4 lcd displays i bought one of those all right so while you're ordering your kit just think what you might need so we're moving on from eight bits uno all right to a 32 bit esp32 remember we did the uh binary lesson with eight bits this communicates at 32 bits is a lot faster and it's got wi-fi and bluetooth it's got eight megabits i think it's eight megs it might be f of sd ram so it's all in all it's a lot more powerful than the uno all right a lot more powerful than the uno all right and we can use a lot more uh, peripherals as well a lot more modules well, we can also connect to the internet. We can connect to our phone. We can connect to our PC. So a lot uh, of exciting projects coming up. Okay, our projects are going to, as I say, going to start right from the basics. Right, right from the basics. They're going to consist, going to consist of code and building the circuits. And we're going to be using the C programming language using the Arduino IDE. The reason we're using the Arduino IDE, it's the simplest to use. And we used it on our previous series of videos for the Arduino and C++. All right. So what I want to do, I'm just going to quickly uh, show you the pinouts just quickly. All right. Quickly show you the pinouts. As you can see, I think it's 15 analog to digital converters. All right. Notice that the number in order, like the GPIOs, they're not in they're not in number in order. They don't go one, two, three, four. They go 12, 14, 27, 26, 25. A lot more GPIO pins. We got ground. All right. But that connector I've got on mine. The connector all right this connects up my rails along here all right but they're opposites red is ground 
blue is 5 volts, red is ground, blue is 3.3 volts. So it swapped them around. I'm going to have to remember that. I'm going to have to remember that. All right. So um, that's uh, that's a quick look at the pinouts. All right. That's a quick look at the pinouts. Now, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do a lot of prep for our Arduino. All right, we're going to need a lot of prep for our Arduino. Now, first thing you want to do is a plug in, a plug in your um, ESP32. Plug it in. All right, just give it a minute to warm up. Hopefully, you'll get the mag magic bing bong. All right, and once you've done that, you need to come to your device manager device manager all right come down to ports com and lpt now when i did this on windows 11 this was already installed okay if you got a windows um 10 machine i don't know I don't know if you'll have this installed. If you haven't, okay, you need to come. Let me just uh, make sure I've got the right one. Uh, yep, yeah, you need to come to here. I have put the link below. All right, I have put the link below. Let me just make this bigger. Hopefully you can see that. Let me just make sure you can see it. Yeah. Okay, you can see me moving my, hopefully my um, cursor. Right. You need to download the driver for your machine. Right. The driver for your machine. All right. EXE file. For Windows 11, 10, 8.1, 8 and 7, etc, etc. That's the one you need to download. Right? So, or you can download the zip. It's totally up to you. But if you download the EXE, right, bring it to, to this page. Okay, make sure you can see that page. Yep. And then click download right okay and it downloads the exe all right the exe file to your downloads folder can you see that no you can't go to your downloads folder and you should see it double click it and follow the instructions all right follow the instructions all the way through all right so once you've done that once you've uh, done that all right go back to your device manager open up com port and you should find this now installed. All right. So that's how to install the CH340 serial bus. All right. USB serial bus. Okay. Okay. So far. So far. So good. Right. So that's that. Let's come down. We now just going through uh, make sure I've done everything yep it's installed that's installed right now we need to set up our Arduino all right 
So let's come to Arduino. Sorry about this, guys, but um, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. All right. So, as you can see, I've already set up my board. Already set up my board on COM5. But you won't have this. You need to set up your board. So go File, Preferences. All right. Bring up your preferences. And wherever you want your sketches, uh, um, video, you know, when we do the videos, we're going to do our sketches. You want to save them. All right. Sketch put location. Now, if you do get the kit, you, you can download the kit for the ESP32 Master. <coughs> right. And in there, I created a folder. I've called it video configs. You can call yours whatever you like. But if you browse to that and put that there, you will come to, uh, you will create the folder where all your sketches will be saved. Now, we need to now download <coughs> the, um, the additional boards manager. Right, and you need to put in this link. That link will be below. All right, will be below. And just copy and paste it into that box. Press OK. Now, this does take quite a long while to, to install. I've already installed mine, but just follow the instructions. It's really simple. All right, so I'm now going to cancel that. Right, once it's downloaded, I'll show you, this is it, okay. Right, once it's downloaded, we need to now install the board, right. So we've done this before, tools, right. Boards manager, right. ESP32, right? You want the ESP32 by Espressive. All right? Espressive. If you bought an Arduino board, you need the ESP32 by Arduino. All right? But I've got the Espressive. You will have an install button there. Click install all right you click install all right good once it's installed okay remember how to get rid of that once it's installed again tools board manager All right. Sorry. Let's get rid of that. Tools. Sorry. Press this that one. Select other board and port. Okay. Mine's on COM5. Come down to the board you've got. Remember, mine's the ESP32 Rover module. All right, click on that and then click OK. And that is the board installed. All right, that is our board installed. So we've got it up there, ESP32 Rover module and down here connected connected okay right okay that's all our prep done that's all our prep done now um i don't know what's the problem with this is ah there we go that's my new background i'm going to be using all right 
Now, if you have got any questions about getting this prep ready, please, please comment below. Okay, I tried to go through it at a decent pace. All right, but if you um, if you do go to uh, search how to install um, the SP32 on an Arduino IDE, I'm sure the instructions will be there on the internet somewhere. All right, so that's just a quick intro to the ESP32 and how to get our Arduino integrated development environment ready, ready for our uh, future tutorials. All right, next tutorial, we're going to be testing, testing that everything's working. All right, well, thanks a lot. I hope you're excited about this new, uh, new uh, set of tutorials because we are going to be going in depth and we're going to be doing some exciting exciting projects see you in the next video bye bye